Yo, what's going on everyone? So, in today's video, we're going to be playing some Mega Draft, and the challenge is going to change every time. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Alright, I'm going to some Murtaugh Glue here, so for the first challenge, I'm only going to be picking cards, uh, what do you call it, on the uh, right side, so let's do that. And, obviously, the first concern is that the right side only has six cards, but after that, I'll just pick whatever I want. So we're picking the East, but we're picking the Hog. We got a decent deck so far. He's got Arrows Fireball. Kind of an issue, but no. Oh. Alright, he goes for the Cannon, <coughs> cannon Guards. We're going to go for the Lightning Sparky. <laughs> Not ideal, but always fun Lagoon. He goes for Cannon Cart Miner. We're going to go for a Tombstone. And now we can actually uh, pick what we want. We definitely don't want to pick Mother Witch, Ice Wiz, or Zappies. Um, I'm thinking maybe... I think I think the Anya is the play here. He's gonna go for the Mother Witch, so I guess we're gonna go log. I'm not too worried about the Mother Witch. We have archers and Mini Pekka. If we really need to take care of her, it's not that big of a deal. She's gonna be a little bit annoying because of my Tombstone, but it is what it is. I mean, this guy's actually picking decently, so he's probably not that bad of a player. Let's see what his last pick is. He picks minions. All right. I mean, not the best, but not the worst. Alright, so up against this guy now. Murtaugh Lou. I guess we can just go for the hog first play, see what happens. It's still so weird just seeing the cards like face another direction. I can log this, and then I might be able to get in a sneaky hog connection on the tower. Yeah, very nice there. Um Okay, let's see, so. There's also a hair on my screen and get that off. There we go. Okay, he's gonna go for the cannon card. I guess mini pack is the play here. I would go tombstone, but just in the event that his mother witch is just funnily enough in a cycle, not really a fan of that idea. Let's go for that. He's just gonna go for his minions, which I mean it's a fine play, I guess. Then let's go ahead and kite these minions with our hog. And then we should get a hog connection, I believe. Yep, yeah, very nice. And we can just lock these cards away very nicely. See, not too big of a deal, not too big of a deal. The minions kind of look intimidating because we don't have arrows or anything. But we'll be fine for the first little bit of the match. But he does have arrows fireball, so I don't know if I want to go Sparky in the back or not. Just go ahead and see what he does. He's going to go for a Mother Witch. I guess we'll see if he supports this. Like, I wouldn't really... I don't really think he would. I'm just going to ignore that and then go Sparky uh, back here. Okay, nice. He can choose a fireball if he wants to, but the reason I did that is just... Okay, yeah. I don't know if I agree with that minor. Um, yeah, the reason I did that is just because if he fireballs, he won't get damage on the lane he's already going for. So that's why I did that. Honestly, <laughs> we ball. <laughs> nice. That's going to be huge damage. That was such a bad lightning, but it actually ended up working so well. So was it a bad lightning after all then? Question mark. I guess not. I just, I really just went lightning on three minions and nothing else, and it just worked in single elixir. Also, my cycle's not too slow, but I'm pretty sure his is quicker than mine, so that's pretty funny. Anyway, he just used it. Okay, calm down, buddy. I don't know about that miner, that was kind of bad in my opinion, didn't really do anything. That was also a terrible fireball. He's gonna have to go for his cannon, he just wasted his minions. Let's go for Easter. He's not even gonna. Okay, I was gonna say he's not even gonna bother trying to defend. He goes for the arrows. Hog gets two big swings on the tower there. Very nice. Let's go for a spark in the back. He's gonna mother which the middle probably. I'm not too concerned. He goes for his guard instead. Still fine. Mini pack of the catch the miner. And then let's just go hog the pull these minions back and all the other fun stuff. Well, there's actually just the minions, so not all the other fun stuff actually. Then let's go for our Easter here. Archers the pack, and yeah, I think we're chilling. Sparky's over there, we can log that, it's a free log. Free chip damage, gets rid of the guard shields, and we set for another Sparky. Uh, I'm fine with doing this for like the rest of the match, I think I can win by doing this. But actually, we're not gonna do that. And we're just gonna go for the lightning here, oh, we get the cannon with the lightning, it didn't even matter, but I got it, so that's kind of cool. Let's go, baby, first dub. Alright, this time we're going to go diagonal, starting from the bottom. So let's go for our Monk and our Medipekka, one of my favorite duos. 
also just want to shout out the name Birth Giver 43. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Our Tesla NATO Fireball kind of looks like some wheat scuffed expo deck, but obviously can't go for that. Let's go for Barrel, and then let's go for our EQ. Pretty nice. Um, not too much to complain about. All right, he's going to go for the Minor Bats. I mean, we have Monk and many P.E.K.K.A. for the Miner, so not too worried about that either. Let's go for the E-Spirit, which is going to work perfectly for the Bats, and we'll go for a Flying Machine. Not good for the Fireball, but I'm pretty happy with this so far. So he's going to go for his Piggy, so we're going to continue with the Diagonal, um, starting from the, uh, what do you call it, bottom right. So let's go for our Mortar, and then we get Sparky again. Destiny just keeps bringing us together, and I'm not complaining. Let's pick the Sparky. All right, so we, we don't have a half-bad deck here. A uh, little scared about the Rascals, not going to lie about that. But aside from that, it doesn't look that bad. Let's go for like a weird barrel like this in case he goes for a Fireball instead of an A because he realizes what I'm doing. Oh, I just juked him completely. I could have went Espirit there, but I, I kind of wanted to feel out what he's going to do. He's probably going to go for Rascals here, I'd assume. Okay, no Tesla. Well, that's fine. Uh, we can just let that go. Um, Flying Machine in the back would be a fine option, too. He can Fireball if he wants, but once again, more damage here. So even if Fireball's here, it's like, eh. Catch with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Perfect. Oh, I love the Mini P.E.K.K.A. He's such a fun card. <laughs> Interesting Fireball. I mean, it works. It's not like a bad play or anything. But <laughs> he just took so long to respond to it. Then let's pop our Monk ability here. Beautiful Monk ability. Fire the Bubblegum right back at them. Do you think since they're firing Bubblegum with the Monk, and it's like, I, I assume it's like a full-blown bubble. Like, do you think it would deflect back at them as a bubble and then pop? Like, how does that work? Anyway. <laughs> oh! Monk ability, please. No, the Monk ability! Oh, if it just popped half a second sooner, that's my bad. Alright, I'll still take it. Birthgiver43 is going to destroy it. I can't say that name, seriously, man. Go for the mini P.E.K.K.A. Why are these pigs spazzing out? Calm down, pigs. I mean, the big bad wolf did kind of get you there. I'm not going to lie. But then we'll go for the Prediction E-Spirit. Yep, easy. And then we'll go for a Goblin Barrel. He's probably going to panic about the mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, nice. Doesn't even matter at this point that he got it on the King Tower. That's only like what two EQs away. We're fine. I think I think it does one sixty two to Crown Towers. So we're gonna go for a mortar here and then go for our monk for his Tesla or Rascals. And it goes for the Tesla again. Fine with me. Do not care that much. Let's pop the monk ability now. Oh yeah, it's too late. Doesn't even matter that I got the miner there. Miner couldn't dig his way fast enough to my mortar. No sorry. Kind of debating a Sparky in the Pocket. Nope, no debate we're going for. <laughs> go Sparky in the Pocket, go! I think he gave up. <laughs> uh, is this a poor guy moment, or is this like a ha ha ha? I think it's like both. I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's just <laughs> the match. Kind of feel bad for Perth Giver 43, but it is what it is. For the final challenge, we're going to pick four of the cheapest cards, and then four of the most expensive. So... There's no one Elixir cards, I believe. I'm doing a thorough scan. It's 6 in the morning right now, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get to my judgment and just scan and everything to make sure. Okay, we're good, and then we'll go for... I guess Goblins will be a good pick here. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and pick the Ice Golem and the Bomber. Not too worried about Wall Breakers, because I'm going to pick a win condition later anyway. Alright, so I'm required by law to pick Mega Knight here. And... 6 Elixir card, eh? He is Lightning Poison. It'd be really dumb to pick Pump. I think the play... Oh, no, there's three Musketeers. I, f I forgot about that. It doesn't matter, anyway. Alright, so now... <laughs> I was also <laughs> required by a lot to pick those. It's just I didn't see them because it's 6 a.m. That's my excuse. Um, Pump is honestly the play, I think. It's just Goblin Giant RG are so bad. So I'll just pick Pump. He's going to pick cards. I guess Goblin Giant for defense... I, mean, I, I did say I'd pick a win condition later, and I picked a few, so... Not what I was looking for exactly, but it is what it is. Okay, also, up against a loser, apparently, which, I mean, that's not a very nice thing to call yourself. Okay, he's gonna go for his hog in a pretty weird position. Let's go for our MK here. Knock back the hog. Only one hit from the hog, you know, not that bad. And then... We'll just go ahead and log the musky like this. Pretty optimal. Oh, Mega Knight actually goes on the tower. I wasn't even paying attention to him. Thank you, Mega Knight. Alright. 
So we are in the game. We are in the leads. <laughs> Probably not going to be like that for long. Um, but you know, we're, we're still we're still getting through. We're getting through. Let's go for our bomber in the back. We'll see what he wants to do here. Nothing apparently. I don't really just want to go three on the back. That would be a pretty good poison for him. He's gonna have to do something about that bomber if he doesn't want to take a hit. Also, he takes a hit. Also, does the bomber health bar look higher or something? <laughs> Am I going crazy? Screw it. Let's go three muskies. The river's technically bridge. Let's do it. That's fine by me. If he goes for a hog, I think the play is just kite this brawler away. Yeah. Kite brawler away, go goblins low. Should only be like one or two hits from the hog. It's going to be two because my goblins are incompetent, so thank you very much. He's going to go for a musky. It's not too bad, honestly. Kind of debating on what to do here. I think I'm just going to... Ah, I messed up my log timing. Okay, well, I guess I didn't, but... Let's just go for a pump. I think he only has a poison, so he's just going to have to poison it. Yeah, that's fine by me. Uh, we're still going to get a little bit of elixir out of it. <laughs> I don't want to just commit, like, any of these, like, big things here. Let's go for a goblin giant at the back. We kind of need to make something happen. He has an inferno, though, which I'm not really a big fan of. Couldn't imagine why. <laughs> I definitely don't have anything for it or anything. That wouldn't make any sense. So I guess we'll split the 3M like this, just so he doesn't get like optimal lightning value on my uh, tower. Okay, he's just going to take it on 3M, which is actually the smart play there. Can we please attack the Inferno and not the Valkyrie? <laughs> Thank you, fellas. He may go for a hog here, I'm not sure. Okay, he's not going to opt to go for a hog, fine by me. We'll go for goblins in the back, and then he might go for a hog with his muskie. Okay, he's going to go for everything. He's going to go for the party mix, so we'll take care of that. Hog is not getting hit on my tower. Let's make that pretty clear. Let's go for another pump. We just need to keep building up Elixir. If you can't respond to the pumps right away, I might actually be able to make something happen. Which, I, I doubt it. But <laughs> he did poison it pretty late, though, so our pump is going to get a little more than it usually would, I believe. Let's go for our Goblin Giant here. We might just take the Lightning on the Goblin Giant and get cocky. I'm not sure. That's kind of, I'm hoping that's what happens, but I, I don't know. I'm just going to log this Inferno away, then we're going to go for another pump, because he is going to feel obligated to go for a Lightning on it, but I'm not sure if he will. Let's see if he does or not. I'm, kinda, I'm actually interested to see if he's going to. Okay, that was a terrible hog, why would you do that? He goes for the Poison Knot, which is probably a smart play there. Ice Golem Tanks? Wait, hold on, if I can get this Mega Knight to break through onto this Inferno? Wait, log this away? Please? Please, 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 please. Please, we need to make something happen. Go, Goblin Giant. Goblin Giant's on tower. Goblin Giant's on tower. The spear's on the tower, too. Go, Goblin Giant. Go, go. Please. Nice. Okay, nice. It goes for a hog ops. I'm just going to go pump like this. Interesting. He just lets the... Hmm, okay. Let's go for our log pump here. The... Best defense on the entire planet. We're going to need MK to save us here. Beautiful MK. Can you stop walking towards the hog, please? Okay, he's going to be pressured to go for uh, something else. We, all, we, we got two bombers right now. Go bombers. Magnites, Magnites on the Inferno. Keep spamming. Just keep spamming. Don't spam too hard. Never mind. Just keep spamming. <laughs> Three bombers before they die. Three bombers. Let's go. That's GG. Let's go, baby. Too easy. Not really, but too easy. Uh, this is our beautiful clan chat from Maple Crusaders, guys. Shout out to Maple Crusaders and Baby D. Um, you know, if you want to join, you can join. Fairly active clan. We're a war clan. It's only 800 medals if you want to join. Baby D wanted me to play in the video, so here you go. Um, yeah, sub the Baby D on YouTube if you want to. Uh... Always if you want to. Never do anything against your will. Okay, apparently... Uh, we're going to the next map. Alright, now it is time to only pick buildings until I run out of buildings. I think... This is the play because, you know, the drill's a building. It's also a win condition. Same with mortar. In my enthusiasm, I failed to realize that Wizard's a good counter the drill. And they just picked Bowler for the Bard Hut. So this is pretty bad. But we can recover. We can recover. 
Um, I think after cage, we're all at buildings, right? I think so. Okay, he just sniped my cage and my Tesla. <laughs> we're gonna pick Firecracker because there's no arrows to kill her. And then I think I'll pick Fireball too, just so he literally just has no way to get rid of her except for Rocket, which would be an X Dragon 7 thing to do, so we probably won't do it. Alright, we need some ground tanks, so let's go ahead and snag the Dark Prince. Uh, this is not good. I think the play here is going for a Phoenix. Is that the play? I think it's the play. Let's just go for a Phoenix. Let's see what happens. I mean, I'm not too happy about the pack I pick, but we got Tombstone if it's really needed, so... It's fine. I mean, the most OP play in the game is just going Bart Hut first play, so let's go with that. It truly never fails unless they have Wizard or Bowler. But he won't have that, right? Yes, he no, he only has Easter. He doesn't have Wizard or Bowler. That'd be that'd be foolish. Oh, he actually does have Wizard or Bowler now. Uh, I, I was gonna cut the video when he played Wizard or Bowler, and then you know it'd be like, ah ha ha, funny, so funny, I get it. But <laughs> he just didn't have it, so that kind of makes it even more funnier now. Okay, he goes for the Gold Knight. Depending on what he does, I might commit to this mortar. Get where to commit to this. Uh, that's going to be a huge lock on the tower right there, ladies and gentlemen. Bowler ball. This my mortar. Nice. That's some nice damage. Go Phoenix. Uh, right away, just so the bowler doesn't get any damage, or at least it minimizes it. I'm not sure about this interaction, but I think we fully stopped the bowler. Yeah, nice. And, um... You know, <laughs> I don't want to fireball that wizard, so we're just going to go for a bar on top of it. So this is kind of the perfect time to go for a drill. He doesn't have his wizard or bowler. We might be able to tank for this Bart. Please tank for the Bart. Damn. Free firecracker chip. He can't kill this. So, I mean, I might as well just play it right away. Look at that firecracker chip. I'm so skilled. Uh-oh. <laughs> Please stay away from my firecracker. No firecracker. Okay, at least the gold knight didn't go on the tower, I guess. Nice. Okay, that's actually a good defense. Very clean, fellas. Very clean. I don't know how I'm winning with this piece of garbage deck, but we're, we're doing it. We're pulling through. Uh, I agree with the mini pack of emo right there. Let's go for it. Okay. He's going to go for his wizard. I, I'm pretty sure that's just a, you know, a free fireball. I don't think anyone disagrees. Let's go for that. Let's go for a mortar low like this. Probably need to cycle back to my Dark Prince. Yep. We're just going to go for our Dark Prince. My earbud just said battery low. I don't know if that affected the audio or not for like one second, but we'll see what happens. Night cheers are coming out. Let's uh, send some night cheers back to let them know the message is being heard loud and clear. Let's go for a drill. Just put some pressure on this guy. I don't want him putting the pressure on me because he will eventually overwhelm me. Just get this firecracker going. The goblin's on the tower. Nice. Ooh, look at that goblin damage. That is spicy. Okay, he's gonna go for Pekka. Not a fan. Let's pull everything back here with the tombstone. Please get rid of that gold knight. Please, thank you. Should be fine here. We're still getting some more night cheers, so let's just keep spamming night cheers as well. Let's get another firecracker, because you can never get enough, right? Psh, psh, psh. Oh, the goblins in the back. Go, goblins. No, my firecrackers are gonna get- Oh, wait, he messed up the Golden Knight ability! Wait! Utilize the firecrackers! Keep going, keep going! Keep going, Phoenix! Tag, tag, tag! Nice, that's game! GG! That's it, baby! Tank with Tombstone! Nice! It's too easy, fellas, it's too easy! Ree! Moving on to all spells, and he stole my EQ! I'm not a fan with that. We're gonna take the Bart Barrel, and the arrow so that if he doesn't pick Goblin Barrel, he's pretty much screwed. I don't know what this guy's cooking up with his furnace, but he picked Furnace and Poison. I don't know if I agree with that. We're going to pick the Goblin Barrel. And we're going to pick the Lightning just because we already have a bunch of small spells. Well, not a bunch. We have one. Okay, apparently this guy's doing the same challenge. He's just, you know what? This guy's doing all spells and buildings. I'm going to do all spells and buildings, buddy. Two can play at that game, huh? There we go. He picks Big Bone Jones, so he's picking troops now, so... Ah, troop for Big Bone Jones. Probably the best one here is Monk. And then... Ah, 
We'll pick Lumberjack. Oh god, oh god. Alright, so we're going for the cage for his furnace. Uh, against, up against Jay Mix here, by the way. Sorry, I started to get my uh, other earbud because this one was dying. As I said, I completely forgot about it until it reminded me again. But we're back. And yeah, they die pretty quickly. Like, I do not have a lot of time to get the, uh, the other one. Okay, that was an interesting rascal. He just willingly put that into a monk, which I mean, I'll take it. But I don't know why he did that. Then let's go for a lumberjack like this. Bark barrel like this. Wait, no! Oh, I was hoping the lumberjack would live. Ah, it is unfortunate. Go for our cage. Alright, sorry, I'm back. Uh, I had to skip a decent chunk of that, because I mean, your beds were being weird. I think I might have taken them like too far away from the original little source before... Uh, I'm sorry, I think I went too fast and too far away from the original ear, but... And then it caused it to keep, like, make, like cutting. Like, just the audio kept cutting out. I don't, I don't know if you could hear it or not, but I'll have to see afterwards. But, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Monk's doing a fine job here. I maybe should have popped the monk ability. I don't, I don't know. What's the player? Okay, I'm just gonna lighten that. He, he keeps giving me these free lightnings, and we will gladly take them. He also keeps calling rascals into my monk. I'm not sure why. Like, it's kind of just destined to fail, but you do you. Okay, he's gonna poison that, and I think he uh, just made a little oopsie daisies. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go for our graveyard bark barrel, then pre arrows on the rascals. Never mind. <laughs> and let's actually log in again, because that's exactly what we want to do. Let's get back in the match here. Um, please just go rascals into this again. <laughs> please do it. That would be really cool cash money. It's okay, he's not doing it. Let's go ahead and lightning this. Am I good? Cage up high. I think we should be fine. Even if it goes rascals, I can just arrow them. Okay, wait, hold on. Go arrows. Go for our Bart. Go for our monk. Pop the ability. Nice. Uh, how did the fire spirit not jump? What? Okay, go for the barrel. He's not going to expect it. Please? Come on! Nice, that's some good damage. That's some good damage right there. That is some good damage. Let's just arrow this immediately for some free damage. He's going Furnace of the Lane. I don't know why. We're just going to go for a uh, Bark Barrel Graveyard here. Hopefully throw him off guard. And then just go for the Lightning and hope. Please, please. One more, Larry. One more. Larry. 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 We got arrows. We're good. I had the clutch up. But it's fine. We're good. And also, hey. We won all our matches with all different challenges, varying in difficulty, of course. And we, we pulled through. We pulled through. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, five match video, dub, all dubs, dubs, and we had a good time. Dubs. So hope you guys enjoyed because I did. This was a cool video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.